Hi, my name is Leah Day, and welcome to Quilt Along number 38 on the Free Emotion Quilting Project. This week, we're still working in the sashing of the Batik Beauty Quilt behind me, filling up that area with an awesome new design. It's basically taking jagged lines, the design we learned last week, and mixing it up with stippling. So let's get on the machine to see how that works in Free Motion. Okay, let's get started on the new design called Lost Data. Basically, we're going to be stitching this exact same base of jagged lines, but we're going to fill the gap spaces with zippling. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start with just simple, a simple echo of this gap area, and then I'll come back up with another echo, and we'll start our design. Just make sure to keep all your lines nice and straight and your angles sharp. Uh, whenever you come in to an angle, stop with your needle in the down position. Uh, then consciously make the uh, change of direction. Uh, if you're having trouble making these nice sharp points, that's a key. Uh, you just have to slow down and stop right in a point and then slowly start and make sure to make that a nice crisp direction change. Okay, here we go. I'm going to travel stitch along the edge of this block. Now I've formed a really big gap space back here, and it's time to fill it with zippling. Of course, it's entirely up to you how dense you fill your quilts. Uh, this, of course, is going to have a denser texture because you're filling one design within another design. Uh, if it bothers you quite a bit, just make sure to make your gaps a lot bigger so that way you can stitch a bigger version of zippling within the space. Now I'm going to travel stitch along this top edge. Remember, this is an edge-to-edge -edge design, so we're always working from one edge of the space to the opposite edge and using these seam lines, these stitch in the ditch areas to travel against. Remember that you can form the gap areas really 
any way you want, whether it is stitching off from full edge to edge, it's travel stitching over and then reconnecting with the shape, or it's simply getting down to the middle and totally branching off but then coming back in. Really the best thing to do is just experiment and play with this design and see what you like best. We're going to continue to fill in to this area and uh, simply stitch a jagged line so that we have something to base off of as we stitch from block to block. So that is lost data in the Batik Beauty Quilt. So that's it for this video. I really hope you'll get on your machine and give lost data a try. You know, in the video, you might see me using a lot of different tools and supplies. I'm wearing gloves, I have different tools on my machine, and I'm using a very special kind of thread in order to be able to do this and do a lot of travel stitching. If you're curious about any of the items I'm using, most of them can be found in the Day Style Designs Quilt Shop. This quilt shop supports the Free Motion Quilting Project and allows me to be able to make all of these wonderful videos and post them for free every single week. So I really hope you'll get on that quilt shop and check it out. That's at daystyledesigns.com. Also, check out the blog post that corresponds with this video. Post any photos that you have of stitching it out and trying it out on your own at home. And any questions that you have about stitching it. If you had some issues, if your machine did something really funky, make sure to ask those questions and get some answers. Figure out how to do this on your home machine. The fact is, free motion quilting is a little tricky because it's using your machine in a totally different way. So of course you're going to have some issues when you first get started with it. And I want to be able to provide you with the help and assistance that you need. So find all of that and more at freemotionproject.com. Until next time, let's go quilt. Hush. So there you have it. That. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So that is lost. Hey, hush. 
Hush. So that is lost data. <laughs> I'm gonna throw buttons at you if you don't stop it now. Stop it. So that is lost data in the Batik Beauty Quilt.